going into this grand final. We've got Steam versus Bloud. On exactly what you would expect. Steam on the snake, Bloud on the fox. Really, really a quiet opening, but they get into it here real quick after that. And those dash jacks coming now from Steve, <laughs> really heavy. That has been a favored tactic of his today. Oh, wow. Able to get in on that. Steve, uh, Blaud, though, couldn't get back into the stage. And Blaud had gotten out to an early lead, but since then, Steve has definitely just been racking up the damage at 117. A leg lift is a kill. Absolutely, the up tilt, that's going to do it there. First shot going the way of Steve. Just collection of explosions. We keep seeing that as well on a kill. He peppers one corner of the stage. So there's two explosions low, one high generally. And he gets those three explosions as his opponent comes out. And Steam racking up the damage again. Bloud, Firefox. They're both going to get knocked out to the side there. Oh my god, and Bloud ends up going down. Steam still on first stock. Those recoveries just so, so good with the Cypher. Getting up more damage, but Bloud needs to get something that will kill, and a bear will do it. That back air lands, sends him home. Down to his second stock only. Bloud on final stock here in game one. And he's racking up some good damage here on his team again. Finally getting back in the, the mix with him. Avoiding those grenades. Oh, and that dash deck just coming out nice and quick. Nikita, perfect placement. We'll deny Bloud in the Fairlands for the emphatic spike to take game one. out the gate here in game two once again kind of a slow start a little bit of chip damage here and there and now the grenades start flying and this is where we get into the action <clears throat> both these guys kind of feeling out the stage and that dash going to get him on the side Nikita not going to be able to get through there able to just deflect it off with the fox fire shields that really nice choice there gets back to the stage well off of that not able to get the grab out before that dash comes back in. Mortar not going to land. Neither does the up tilt there from Steam. Bloud able to get a little one two out. C4 there protecting the edge. Dakita up and looping. Oh, dash is in over everything. Really nice placement there. Down smash rate and he kills the cipher. Really nicely done from Bloud getting the first stock off of Steam. 97% carry. So Steam's definitely got the ability to send him out here right away. And sure enough, he just detonates that C4 when the gradient aids nearby and takes care of it as soon as those iframes are over. <coughs> nice there. He's looking for it again. Not quite able to finish it off as Steam does get the air dodge into the ledge. But we do know Bloud is looking for that option now. Steam's not going to be wanting to recover near ledges because of that. Bloud. Just enough distance that up till into the mortar will do it though. Very nicely done from Steam. One stock left for Bloud. Getting some more damage onto Steam here as he looks to even this up at one stock. Steam recovering from further out. Bloud goes to deny it, not quite able to. Good play onto the stage though. Really nice option off ledge. But he's punished once he gets there. Oh, uh, not quite able to be high enough over that forward smash, and he eats the RPG. That's game two going the way of Steam. Oh, 
Terry Ditto in game three. Oh, and they even went with the actual Terry stage, it looks like. Indeed, they did. Now, we saw Blount play this earlier and looked pretty darn good on it. Uh, he played it into Lerulean's K rule. And uh, actually, though he did then play it into carbon copies, uh, in a mere, you know, in the ditto, same setup as this, and uh, Carbon Copies took that one actually fairly decisively. Very even in the damage so far. Bloud, though, close to that wall. It's a dangerous spot to be on this stage. <clears throat> oh my god, lands in there. They're both in to go, though. Good shield through there. Oh. The throw's not going to be enough to get him through that wall. Not even close. Geyser's not going to land. There's the geyser from each of them. Blouds lands, and he goes off the wall, and Stark kills instead. I guess the angle of that was real vertical. Oh! Evens it up, though. Gentlemen's two stock as Blouds just gets launched out of that wall right away on Steam's respawn. Nice combo there from Steam. His damage is still very close. Blau trying to get his way in with that kick, and Steam finds it first. Blau approaching Go. Able to get off some <coughs> damage of his own here. He's getting some more on Steam. Bounces him off the wall. They're pretty even up at the moment. Oh, that kick all the way across. No problem there, though. Matt just checking off the wall instead. He's in go mode. Blount hits the geyser. Not quite going to get the star kill. Oh, Steam lands the geyser. and that, That's gone. Blount launched out. Go mode still up for Steam, though. <laughs> the throw in the corner not going to do anything. The punch across not going to threaten sending him out. No real cracks in that wall yet. Tackle not, or rising tackle not going to land. Blau towards the side. He's got to be a little careful. Oh, nice spot dodge into that option there. And that is still not quite enough. Steam reposition center stage, 164 now. Tacks off that wall. That one, oh, he doesn't go through either there. At 193, the tilt was not enough. 202 steams up to now. Lands that punch. Up, Blau to Mila up to 80. He's up towards the top. Go mode for both of them now, but it's the next hit near a wall here. Oh my god. Bounces off the wall. Still in 217. That time he's going to finally go through the glass. And spinning the hat. Steve's having a little fun on that one. <laughs> Trying to throw him out, I think, from point blank. That's not going to work. 162 go mode still up for Bloud. Guys are not going to land that kick will do it though. The bear sends Bloud out and Steam takes the final. Grand final that is. 